<laughs> what? And as you can see, uh, this machine is vibrating. Now, because this is a new location, and when I moved, I did have a spirit level uh, to make sure that the machine is leveled. Hello and welcome back to Ian's Gadgets. In today's video, I'll be sharing my experience of how I managed to fix my machine wobbling and vibrating. If you're new here, kindly subscribe so you get to know when I share more of my experiences with gadgets. Also, smash that like button and support your guy here. I'll truly appreciate it. Let's get on with it. If your washing machine is wobbling, vibrating and working, it could be as a result of several issues. In this video, I will walk you through some troubleshooting and fixes that I believe could come in handy if you're experiencing such problems. 1. Leveling legs. The washing machine has leveling legs that not only support the washer, but also are adjustable to help level the machine. Now, in my case, I have recently moved the machine to a new location. The washing machine is vibrating because the floor is not leveled. So, I just use a spirit level to establish the areas where I need to adjust the machine stands to get correct levels. Luckily, my Samsung machine came with a spanner, so I just adjusted the stands a little bit to get the levels. You can also raise the, the machine to get access to the stands so as to adjust them accordingly. Make sure that all the leveling feet are leveled, adjust whichever is not and run a cycle to see if the problem is resolved. See, even when it spins faster, at 1200 RPMs, it's not uh, wobbling, vibrating, you know, that kind of thing. So the issue with this machine uh, was that the floor was not level. So after I used the spirit level to find the levels and adjust the stance accordingly, I have now achieved a machine that is not vibrating, you know. Even when it's spinning so fast, you know, uh, it is... Uh, just perfect. No noise, no wobbling, no walking, no vibrating. I'm happy about this. Vibrations could also be caused if you did not remove shipping bolts. Shipping bolts are important during transit because they keep the tab secure and reduce the amount of vibration that could damage the suspension. The shipping bolts are found at the back of your washing machine. Now, if you do not remove the shipping bolts as instructed by the manufacturer, it could result to severe vibrations that could cause permanent damage to a washing machine. Most washing machines do come with a spanner to help you unfasten and remove the transit bolts. In my case, this is the kind of spanner that came with my washer. It is also helpful in case you need to adjust the stance to make your machine level so that it does not vibrate or make lots of noise. Armed with your spanner, now you just need to unfasten uh, these transit bolts one by one. After removing them, it's advisable to keep them safe for use when you move or transport the washing machine in the future. 
The washer also comes with caps uh, that you're supposed to use to cover those holes. So make sure to use those covers to cover those holes effectively. If you do not calibrate your machine before you begin using it, it could also result to vibrations. Now, before you start using your washing machine, it is a requirement of the manufacturer that you calibrate your machine. Calibrating your machine helps to reduce vibration and noise. Besides, calibration helps you to save energy because after you calibrate, uh, after you run calibration, the load sensor more accurately weighs your laundry, hence the washing cycle can better adjust itself to the amount of clothes, which saves time and energy. I have a complete video on how to calibrate uh, a Samsung washing machine. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go watch. And balance loads could also cause vibrations. It's advisable to make sure that the load is evenly distributed. Your washing machine may vibrate during operation if the load inside the drum is unevenly distributed. Absorbent items such as rugs and blankets are usually the main culprit here. To avoid unbalanced loads, wash bulky items like blankets with at least one other heavy item like a big towel or another blanket. A clogged pump filter could also cause your washer to wobble and vibrate vigorously. Hence, it is advisable to clean your pump filter and make sure to remove any item that could be stuck in it. I have a comprehensive video on how to clean a pump filter. I'll leave a link in the description so you go watch. If none of the above works, it could be that the suspension springs on your washing machine are damaged. Suspension springs suspend the tub assembly from the cabinet or stabilizes the tub assembly to the washer base. The suspension springs do absorb the vibrations of the wash basket while the machine is in the spin cycle. If the springs are damaged, they need to be replaced. Shock absorbers are used to dampen the tab movement in the spin cycle. They are attached to the base frame and the outer tab. Now when the shock absorbers are weak, damaged or unbalanced, it could also cause your washer to shake or move. And your machine will make loud banging sound during the spin cycle. If they are not replaced timelessly, it could lead to damage to other components. Other causes of vibrations could be as a result of worn out snubber rings, damper pads and tab wear pads. This could cause your machine to shake uncontrollably. Hence, it is advisable to let a professional take a look at your machine and identify and replace the problematic components. We've come to the end of today's video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel to get notified when I publish more videos. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.